My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Bowen, New Jersey. Um, I'm going to be recording a uh, my persecutor, by the way, who's pretending to speak out of the book of James, and he's perverting it using child molester false doctrines, by the way. Um, I actually uh, dealt with this church when I attended this church, and they um they would teach all these evil false doctrines okay and um basically that science is victims okay um the the rules like um no gossiping no judging no complaining uh no cr- uh, critiquing uh no accusing um um, no pointing the finger, uh, no finding fault, um, no doubting them, um, and things like that. So there are many other rules or manipulation tactics that they have to silence their victims. Okay. Um, so the thing is a lot of the, um, you know, what? I just want to pull this up real quick. A lot of these, um, doctrines, I actually collected from this church and I, and I, and I've investigating many churches and many churches of the Antichrist have these same false doctrines. Just want to let you know that all of these doctrines are in fact against Jesus Christ and all the prophets. Okay. So, um, the thing is, yes, it's against Christianity. And if you hear anybody teaching those rules, um, they are uh, not Christian. Unfortunately, I do have one of my videos ha- has been hacked, and I was speaking against false judgments um, and explaining um, how they falsely judge and speak against people from judging. Okay, we are allowed to judge right. Um, so I was speaking against them, speaking against being um, speaking against people being judgmental, and I have teach and always taught and still teach and always will teach that we are judgmental uh, beings. So apparently, just not too long ago, they hacked one of my compute my 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 videos as they are altering many of them, and um um cut out a section I said after that and uh when I said false false judgments okay so um yeah so we are to judge rightly make sure when you judge you are judging with facts and the truth um or you are going to speak against yourself they like to pervert and isolate uh Jesus teachings of um 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 do not judge lest you be judged If you basically rightly judge against their false judgments, just want to let you know that was Jesus teaching, warning people before you judge, make sure you judge rightly and know what you're talking about to sum it up as Jesus continues and says, um, um, before you judge, uh, take the speck out of your own eye before you take the speck so you can see clearly to take the speck out, speck out of your brother's eye. So Jesus is not speaking against judging whatsoever. Jesus teaches to do not judge by appearance, but judge rightly. Okay. So the thing is, um, uh, okay. I'm trying to situate myself here. I'm kind of out of balance sitting in my chair. Um, so the thing is, is that, um, just want to let you know, uh, people who, uh, do this, they are in fact hypocrites, um, and they are actually judging, falsely telling people not to judge. When they pervert this scripture also, they will claim automatically, if you judge them, you automatically have a, a speck out of your own nail, out of your eye, in here, I'm sorry, in your eye, and will sit there and say, take the speck out of your own eye when you're sitting there confronting their wrong. Okay, so if you're rightly confronting their wrong, uh, you're not judging wrongly. Okay, so but this is how spiritually blind and hypocritical they are. So Jesus was warning against hypocritical judging. Okay, so just want to let you know um, how dangerous it is when people speak against um, um, complaining, by the way, um, they are attacking services like um hospitals and police and courts and basically trying to uh, make rules um, to intimidate, okay, and silence their victims um, and put a false guilt chip on them and basically manipulate people around them to make sure they are not heard, the victim is not heard when they're rightly judging against their abuser, 
Okay. So these tactics are tactics used by abusive cults. Okay. A true born again Christian, excuse me. <coughs> I still have a cold. Sorry about that. A true born again Christian will not teach the list of any of these, um, um, rules whatsoever. And we will teach people to judge rightly, to think about, you know, what you judge or whatever. We're not refusing the rights of anybody, uh, to rightly judge. Okay. We're either going to be, um, a person who rightly judges or wrongly judges. If we err and, and make a wrong judgment, we're to, uh, to amend that, you know, because it's very important. Like, you know, own up to it. If you made a false judgment, apologize like a grown adult. You know, so the, I mean, uh, this thing about, um, when people say no judging and no complaining and, and all these things or whatever, um, they're very immature. Okay. They're very evil. Um, they're undiscerning. Okay. And I just want to let you know when you have a person who is speaking and making rules against complaining, that is in itself a complaint. So they are hypocritically and falsely complaining. The only place you will find these rules um, are in forged false Bibles, which will cause this, the scriptures to actually speak against itself. Okay. So um, in regards to the rule gossiping, because he's using two main things here. I don't know if he goes through the other list. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm not listening to the rest of this video yet. I'm just going to record this because I'm going to make a point. And, um... He also talks about, oh, keeping it in context. So these people are basically not only using a forged false Bible and putting their own rules on whatever they want to, um, as they're falsely judging, by the way, against themselves. Yes, exposing them as being the false ones, exposing themselves as being the guilty ones. Okay. Um, they... Um, they're, 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 they're basically, uh, false beliefs are worthless, by the way, and I'm going to record this, but the thing is, okay, so this is the NIV. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, view something right before here. Um, because, okay, the NIV is very evil, by the way. It has, it changes a lot of the scriptures. It basically attacks morality. It supports and promotes rape. It's a promoting rape culture. Um, alters, um, I mean, it just grossly perverts the Bible. Okay. So this um, forced false Bible is an attack on uh, Christianity and people's rights, by the way. Um, it is very perverted. Okay. So the thing is, is, um, yeah, I'm, I might talk about another on, on another issue, but I the thing is, I'm trying to keep my videos shorter. I don't know if I can do that. So I'm trying to basically just do a segment at a time. When I try to do that, they basically will say later in an oppositional way or whatever um, um, in regards to uh, saying the opposite other people have. So I'm making this, using this to make a point. Apparently, he, he just brings it up regardless. So um, he, he's held accountable to his um, false uh, doctrines. But um, the thing is, I got the same abuse in this cult. Like I was being bullied and harassed by two main teachers, mainly first uh, false teacher, San Piero and Lee King. And yes, I'm allowed to gossip about that. Okay. And I basically try to reason with them and they kept abusing me, being very abusive, calling me a demon and everything else like that. So I went to somebody else and, um, uh, the, another, uh, so-called false pastor, uh, Dawn Reed. And, um, she pretended she was like, I mean, I never accepted or considered it like, you know, close friends or friend friends, you know, but, um, she presented herself and she called me a friend her herself, a friend or whatever. Um, she was manipulating me by the way. Um, and she, she was, um, she was just a manipulative. Okay. Um, she just played games or whatever. And I tried to reason with her and it, it was like just disturbing. So the thing is, is that, um, I went to her about, cause I was being abused by like two men and I was being slandered and slandered to other people by these people or whatever. So the thing is, it's just like, yeah, no, we're not supposed to sit there and bear false witness against people. But they, the, the abusers uses a uh, false doctrine of no gossiping to silence victims. And it is unconstitutional, by the way. It is a violation of people's rights, by the way. Um, 
and um, it's not biblical or Christian. You will find it in evil false uh, Bibles only. But the thing is, those rules that are inserted in there to sit there and try to justify their abuse is going to be against the prophets in the Bible that's recorded that what does what? Um, the purpose of their judgment prophecy is judgment is prophesying, teaching, um, and uh, rebuking those who are evil um, and things like that. Like I am rebuking um, these uh, abusive cults. Okay. So they do not have a right, by the way, to mind rape these people. None of these false ministers uh, have a right to ins- assert their roles and convince somebody or anybody they have no rights and they're not allowed to gossip and they're not allowed to com- make a complaint. Um, so if you want to know how, uh, children who are um, sexually abused in churches and are left in confusion and intimidated um, and how they silence their victims is by those rules right there. Okay. By the way, gossip, by the way, is rooted in the same word as gospel. Okay. And yeah. And even, you know what? I don't want to spend too much time looking for it. So I don't know if I'm going to come across it, but I'm, I'm going to check real quick and see if I can find it real quick. Um, I did share it like actually not too long ago. But the thing is, is that, um, I mean, I made many picks because of this church and other churches using the whole no gossiping rule. And, um, you know, I probably would find it quicker on the other page. So, um, all right. So the thing is, is, um, hmm, I don't know how quick I'm going to find it. I want to find it really quick as I can. Um, I don't know if I'm going to find it real quickly. I'm going to back up so I can't see all of them. I'm trying to skim through it a little really quick. I don't know if I can do it. But I, yeah, I mean, I made picks out of, uh, against the whole, um, no gossiping rule. And it was basically, um, in rebuke against the, the um, uh, mainly this church, but a whole bunch of other churches, uh, who are of the antichrist, um, trying to make sure nobody finds out about them basically. And the false, uh, preachers are going around telling people that, uh, no accusing, you're not allowed to accuse the false prophets. They pervert scripture in it. Um, going around saying, saying uh, oh, you're accuser of the brethren. Um, well, when it says brethren, uh, it, it's not talking about you and you are the one falsely accusing, by the way. Um, and I only speak against people's false accusations. So, um, and false, uh, yeah, I speak against crime. Yes, I do. That's right. Um, so I have this meme, one of them, I don't know if I'm going to find, um, them or, or, or this one, but I have a meme and saying that I like to gossip about the gospel. I like to gossip about the gospel. Uh, yes, that's a release of my righteous anger, by the way. Um, so, um, is this one of them? Okay. Jesus gossiping moment. I actually have another one that's a little different than this, but this is, I actually have one that doesn't have this bottom part, but, um, it's a little different, but I'm going to record this since it's right in front of me. All right. So yes, Jesus gossiping moment. Okay. Okay. So it says, Jesus said, uh, who do people say that I, the uh, son of man am? Some say John the Baptist, some say Elijah, others, Jeremiah and other, and one of, or the, one of the prophets. Uh, of course, and of course, other people said demons, a demon <laughs> or has a demon. It says, who do you say that I am? You are the Christ Messiah, son of the living God. So, um, yeah, I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to focus on, because uh, I'm not going to spend too much time. Um, yeah, so the thing is, people who start quickly, like, desperately trying to kick in the words, like, no gossiping. Oh, you're gossiping. All right, when you're sitting there speaking against abusive cults. Um they're automatically exposed as the guilty ones trying to distract and hinder um, a witness against their crime, by the way. Um, so it is abuse. It is abuse against uh, children victims, by the way. So, um, 
Yeah, I don't know if I can. Um, I just, I'm scrolling, if you're wondering what I'm doing. So I'm scroll, scrolling through my um, picks. Yeah, I basically write against, and all my works basically um, speak against abuse of the Bible, um, false doctrines, anything that is abusive that refuses people's rights and silences of victims, which they're just... Um, um, plagued with, um, so yeah, they, they, they talk a lot about, uh, unity and community, uh, their unity and community, community is basically, uh, united and basically keeping people spiritually dead, um, and hush hush and secretive and I know ownership of people, um, is another thing or whatever, um, imprisoning people. So, yeah, I don't know if I can, uh, I'm still looking through this. <laughs> I don't know if I can capture one uh, at a glance. Now, here's some, one of them. They told me church and church gossiping was a sin. Dude, I don't think you're supposed to be gossiping about that. So I wrote that in regards to a lot of these other churches. Okay, there's an earlier one that I did I actually just actually re-upload this, but I made this a number of years ago. I think that was like, I'm roughly saying around 2012, 2014, somewhere around there. Um, so, uh, yes, um... Anyway, we're go I'm going to back up, and since this is 16 minutes already, I'm going to um, speak in against the, the evil of false doctrines. So let me just record this real quick. So he's going to tie this to... Yeah, so he's using vulnerable people here, by the way, um, who uh, he could take advantage of, okay? And um, manipulate and entertain that aren't as um, strongly discerning. Um, I mean, some might question it, but um, he just, he's taking advantage of people. Um, okay. So, yeah, he's comparing it to this verse. I just want you to know this is a forged false Bible. Um, and he's using this because it's an abusive false Bible. Um, and he's trying to run or express running to basically evil false doctrines to justify his evil. There's nobody saying that it's right or just or anything. Be a victim. Thank you. I'm going to say that. So don't let what's going on in the world around you pollute you. Don't get caught up in all the garbage. Yeah. Do not get caught up in all the garbage and don't let their false doctrines pollute you. But we're going to back up about what that is. Up in all it is no gossiping and no complaining the law no it is not no, I don't know. <laughs> it's actually against the law and with Jesus teachings if Jesus taught that he would be a liar and a fraud but he didn't it, with Jesus teachings um, and uh, in fulfillment of the laws of God it teaches how to uh, make your complaints and, and, and your complaints are to be right to rightful judgment by the way so um, and it talks about I mean it's the structure of our court system in which it was built on in regards of uh, basically um um against um partiality and to uh make right judgments and um things like that so i'm going to go on in that situation i would never know <laughs> i'd like to think a lot of ideas but i really don't know so we kind of went through this and we kind of broke these down into uh verses 25 um so tonight i want to just finish up this thought of james uh, in chapter 1, uh, in verses 26, uh, 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 verse 26 and 27. Those who consider themselves religious and, you not, and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues deceive themselves. So remember, keep it in context, right? 
What's the context? See how he does that? Oh, keep it in context. Now he's going to sit there and pervert it out of context. Uh, by the way, I just want to let you know that the written gospel um, is gossip. gossip. There's a lot of chatter going on, right? <laughs> a lot of talk. Okay. Shall I be noticed theologically um, in scripture interpretation as idle talk? Okay, and this is talking about idle talk, like people who sit in there um, vainly making up their own rules and swaying with all sorts of false doctrines. Okay, like their false doctrines against complaining. Um, which is impairing a discernment. Now, no, we're not to vain, vainly complain. And I mean, look, look <laughs> I used to have this thing with my children. Like if they were like, like uh, complaining or fussing over something that was like petty or, you know, whatever. I mean, over a toy or something like that. I was sit there, um, uh, I didn't sit there like 10, 11 or whatever. I'm trying to think of a time where I was like, say that or whatever. I don't think it was uh, when they were around like 70. I'm not really sure. But, um, okay, <laughs> I was about to go into a whole bunch of other doctrines. Um, the thing is, is that, um, you know, and if, you know, either one of my children would like complain about this or this or that, and it wasn't necessary. Uh, and yet I believe in listening to children's complaints. Um, every single one of them, even look, even what it, look, it has to be on the level of child because what may not be important may be important to them for, for some, um, reason and it might be necessary it all depends you have to see it from a child's point uh perspective okay <laughs> so um and what is going on okay so and all and then things behind it and all these things or whatever so uh, you gotta you gotta understand the child's conscience okay so anyway the thing is is that um <laughs> um i just had this a good reason with children so um I would tell my children, depending, I'm not all the time, but you know, uh, I was like, find something, find something more important to complain about. This is what I tell, you know, sometimes I would, uh, uh, tell my children or whatever, when I didn't think it was just like, uh, really, really? So I ne would never teach my children not to complain. Um, you know, I grew up in a cult and, um, it, it's just like, I mean, that's just a horrible, horrible thing to say. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm going to go on. Uh, somebody who basically um, w could actually have these rules, uh, no gossiping, no complaining, actually does not un understand or cannot understand anything that is in Scripture, first of all. Um, and cannot understand, um, are disconnected psychologically, you know, from their children. Okay. Um, that's really, really disturbing. Um, I mean, my children, my, my, I, I, I had a whole neighborhood of complaint of complaining children from, excuse me, other kids like, you know, picking on them or doing them wrong or they, they would do each other wrong. Yeah. I would be small. It'd be important. You gotta, like I said, you gotta understand from child's level. Okay. And, um, the thing is, it's like, I mean, you know, they had their complaints about their skin knees and my daughter would bring, um, children from from the neighborhood, oh, it fell, fell, and they come to me or whatever, and things like that. And um, my mommy knows how to, she's got tickling bubbles. This is what my daughter would do. And um, every time a child got hurt, they uh, they were brought to me. So um, anyway, um, <laughs> so I'm gonna go on. I can sit there and just uh, all right. Let me just go on. Response would be to talk back, right? Jump in the gossip, and jump in the complaining, jump in. And maybe say not nice things back to someone and say not nice things to us. So... We're going to sit there and not nice. There's a play on words of what ni nice and not nice is or whatever. But their, 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 whole, their whole thing, oh, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all which is very rude when you're sitting there speaking against, well, they're evil. Um, and it's not what they want to hear or agree with. This is what they consider to be so-called nice or whatever. So, um, I'm going to go on. So yeah, if you sit there and call these people evil, oh, that's not nice. Oh, well, you sit there and speak against their crime. Oh, that's not nice. Oh, you're gossiping. Uh, that's child molester rules. 
And James is not teaching the garbage that he is teaching. Neither would any of the disciples or Jesus or the prophets. If they did, it would be evil. And so they, so were they be evil. Do they insert it in this false, evil, false translation? Yes. I said evil, false, evil translation. But yes, they do. And these evil rules are inserted here. They are not in um, the word for word rightful translation. If that was considered the rightful translation, and that's what there would be, it would be considered false. And I can actually destroy it within itself against itself as being credible and a stealth garbage. But the thing is, this forged false Bible, yes, which I am gossiping righteously against and complaining against it. Yes, I am. Just like Jesus complained and gossiped against false doctrine. Hey, those who consider themselves religious and yet do not keep a tight rein on their tongues, deceive themselves, and their religion is worthless. That's the tough word, right? That's right. Their religion is, well, it's not even religion, but their beliefs is worthless. Hold on, John. Give me a second. Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is this. to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. It says unspotted, polluted will be acceptable, but this is not a true translation. That continues to go on to bring us back to, so according to God, what is the works of my faith? What does my faith look like? You ask that question. So what does my faith look like? What does James tell us? Religion that God our Father accepts as pure and faultless is what? All right, let me... Um... Okay, so that is reflective of... The book of James is actually a, like a summary and the people have um, a knowledge of the teachings, and he's bringing a reminder. Uh, but they reflect a lot of teachings in the book of Peter, Paul, Jesus' teachings. Um, he makes a statement about, oh, the, um, uh, the, the, the written word of God is not written yet. Well, that's actually not true. And everything that is in Jesus' teachings, by the way, and Paul's writings, and Peter's writings, um, that all they did was teach the true spirit of the word of God that was actually recorded in the, um, the scriptures, the very scriptures that Jesus read from, by the way, that was read on the Sabbath in the temple. So, and had people had access to. So, um... Um, he actually spoke a doctrine uh, against that before. Oh, all right. Okay. And actually, um, I just want to. Oh, am I in the wrong one? Hold on. Let's see. Oh no. Okay, it says fatherless. I'm gonna stand the cup under fatherless. I think it's fatherless. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is where it comes from. All right, Isaiah, Isaiah 1. Let's try to look up orphans, okay? So you can actually see um, all these throughout a lot of Jesus' teachings, um, throughout Paul's teachings, throughout the book of Peter, um, and, of course, in the book of James, okay? Um, okay. Okay. So basically, they, they, they basically, their sacrifices are in vain, okay? Because it, it's like Jesus, uh, it's the same principle of Jesus saying, um, you t pay tithe, uh, mint, and, um, no, hold on. 
tithe and cumin. I'm gonna sit there and say tithe. tithe okay, well, tithe and the spices. Okay, um, because our crops and things were basically uh, given to um, uh, the temple to distribute out to the people. Okay, or need for medicine and things like that, which would be round like spices and things like that. So. Um, you can actually, what I did is I actually looked up the spices and the uses, uh, for those for health uh, reasons. And they actually still use it the same way today, by the way. Um, I do have a number of them, uh, and do use some things, uh, for my own health. Um, so the thing is, is that, um, yeah. Uh, I'm just trying to see where... Okay, so they, they were basically um, practicing part of the law, by the way, and not practicing the spirit of the law of compassion, okay, where Jesus said, you you you, you pay tithe mint and, and, and come in, but you reject the weightier matters of the law, justice, mercy, and faith, okay? So the same principle plays out through all the prophets rebuking their false practice of the law. Okay, so they profane the other parts of the law um, by rejecting the other parts of the law, which is the, the law as a, as a whole. Okay, so a lot of people pervert what mercy is, what justice is, and they and they do the same thing that the prophet spoke against, where they justify their own wrongs and sins, and they have a lot of doctrines to do that. Just like we just heard him sitting there is justifying their own evils and silencing their victims. Okay, and it's a lack of compassion. So he, he the, the the book of James is actually speaking against him he's all talk by the way uh and no action and no practice yeah then he might go out and like do a good deed here or there or whatever but he's very hypocritical okay so um i want to um just record this wash yourselves make yourselves clean put away the evil of your doings from um from before my eyes cease to do evil learn to do good that is i re I use that a lot in from the book of romans um i'm trying to get a pencil pointer here hold on this is from Romans. Seek justice, rebuke the oppressor. Um, a passage I actually used to Lee King um, when he basically tried to uh, pervert the Bible. And I it was strange because he read from the book of Luke, by the way. And, and I'm like, um, it says, um, the, if your brother sins against you, rebuke him. Okay. Uh, and this is like a rebuke. I mean, this is common. It's not some freak show thing or some, uh, don't, uh, ceremony, ceremonial, like ceremonialize it, I guess, if you will, um, into some weird thing. It's kind of like, you know, if somebody does you wrong, rebuke them. Like tell them that they're like, you're like, you know, um, you're wrong. You know, they, that's what you just did was wrong and explain to them what they do. That's a rebuke. Okay. Um, I guess it's common sense. Everyday things like you don't even have to be biblical to basically even um, know these things. But if you have brainwashed antichrist churchy and people like this, they will sit there. And if you confront their wrong or if you go to somebody because you're being abused or you're a victim of domestic violence, oh, you're gossiping. This is exactly what they did in this church call. And it was I mean, they will abuse you for being abused. OK, and if you go to somebody else because they're abusing you, they will do the same thing. And this is a system and it had make sure their victims are not hurt. Defend the father is plead for the widow. OK, this is what is saying. In Let me just look up James real quick. Um, oh, OK, go to the book that he's in a, in a, in a, in a better um, version. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, so I use this, um, a lot actually, um, because they are all condemning religion and putting a false label on religion. Um, they were actually attacking me for basically, uh, well, teaching and practicing the Christian religion. OK, um, so the thing is, is that they actually try to they condemn me for uh, practicing the Christian religion and then sat there and said, oh, I need to learn a lesson about gossip. So they went around slandering me when I was basically, oh, uh, well, speaking against their crimes, by the way, in the first place, slander me and bully me and call me Satan and a demon for basically teaching them true doctrines. OK, so um, 
Yeah, they were vicious and malicious. They they did slander me, and uh, then they slandered me again in a court to make sure, oh, I go to jail and be punished for the crimes they were committing against me. They destroyed my family and my children, by the way. For anyone who thinks he is religious, does not bridle his tongue, but deceives his own heart. His religion is useless. So it says thinks he is religious. So they claim they're not religious. So they this is a manipulation tactic, by the way, that they're all like using. Oh, we're not religious. Christianity isn't religion. It's about relationship, not religion. When I sat there and taught what Jesus taught or whatever, by the way, they would sit there and exactly when they were put up their false doctrines and, and, and say something abusive or whatever the case may be, uh, and I was present like, you know, what Jesus taught. They're like, oh, well, it's not about religion. It's about relationship with Jesus Christ. This is how hypocritical they are. For me teaching the true doctrines of Christ, which is relationship and truth. Okay. This is what they did. I'm just checking my time. So, um... Yeah, this other guy, um, I, I, like I said, he I have recorded him before it being abusive. I'm actually going to record it again. Um, and he was just like, oh, it's, it's other people's responsibility. Victim's responsibility to take accountability um, to forgive. Or sit there and, and, and make claims um, 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 saying, oh, well, it's a sin. If you, if you hate your brother or whatever, and first of all, they're not my brother, by the way, they're not in Christ. They do worship the antichrist. Okay. So, um, and child molester doctrine as well. It was just antichrist. Mm -hmm. Come on, right? Love is the fulfillment of the law. The duty that we have, don't get caught up in all the mess going around. Don't get caught up in all the, the things going on in the world around you. Don't get caught up in basically, oh, the pollu the polluted churches and what they're doing to, oh, children. And how he's basically brainwashing and, well, abusing them, actually. You know, all the things, don't forget, even in the midst of your oppression, don't forget, you have a responsibility to take care of those or less than. Right? Take care of the oh. Serve their needs, by the way. Yeah, the personal um servants of these leaders is what they are. Little free little slave workers. So um Yeah, so I'm actually gonna go. They went around and um actually gonna go it. So they went around perverting um, uh, when two or three got it together. There I am in your midst and claiming, well, oh, just because they all agree, by the way, oh, Jesus is there with them. While they're agreeing in these false abusive doctrines, by the way. Okay. And this is the very passage that um, I actually taught them um, and they ignored me and, and basically started making up their rules. Um and, and like ignoring it, just kicking out lists, whatever was echoed by their false pastor out of context and putting it on their sin, basically. Okay. Um, so I actually taught this to Lee King because he was making up all these kinds of rules and laws and things like that. And they were also going around claiming, oh, well, two, two and three agree or gather together in agreement. There are the, uh, Jesus is, is in agreement with them or Jesus is in the midst of them. This is what they were doing. So, um, that's not what it is. So I actually wrote actually an article about this and I'm like, you know, when you get up to this point and you go to somebody else and they twist, they still twisted it afterwards. You go to somebody else they will, um, and I actually wrote this to the pastor because they were, because they were doing the same thing and I wrote it and I was teaching it and explaining it. Um, hold on. Um, okay, right here. Okay, so... Moreover, if your brother sins against you, go to go to the, him and tell him his fault. 
just want to let you know they were going around and all the other churches also going around saying oh no fault finding no finding fault um so it says tell him his fault now this is the thing these are issues that can be resolved these are it not these are not heinous crimes like don't try to confront your rapist or anything like that these are this is among your brother now i didn't consider them brother because they were evil they wouldn't have come to that point of coming into the truth. Um, they really hated Jesus. They hated righteousness. Like they were my abusers. Um, could it have been resolved? Yes, they refused to. Okay. So um, um, I am a sister. Um, I am the sister of Christ Jesus. Uh, we have the same Holy Father uh, and heaven. Uh creator of heaven and earth um and i am a daughter of god now this thing is do these evil people claim that they're children of god and are not children of god yes they do they are children of the devil okay so i'm gonna go on i actually taught this to lee king and because he was abusing me and he actually because they isolated a couple things out of here out of context and i basically explained the whole thing and they continued to bully me and attack me that's what they did. They hated the Christ in me. So it says, um, more of your brother sins against you. Go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. And I confronted them um, when they were being like attacking me or, you know, whatever the case may be. And I was very kind to them. Um, it says, if he hears you, you have gained your brother. Okay. So, um, but if he will not hear, take with you one or two more that by mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. Okay. Establishedly like no. Okay. The thing is, it's like, if I go to somebody else, oh, you're gossiping. Okay. Um, and the thing is, it's like, they, they started making up their own rules also. Okay, like they had um, Calvary Chapel actually express their other rules. Um, oh, you have to have a witness. You have to witness that they that happened and they twisted it. It's unbelievable. So this has actually come from the law of the Torah, by the way. <coughs> and this is actually uh, resolved. On, I mean, um, uh, well, it's uh, how do I say this? Revolved around the same principle as they actually display in court of uh, witnesses or whatever um, to resolve cases. Um, <coughs> you know, <coughs> excuse me, certain cases or whatever. Of course, there's different things that are handled differently uh, compared to, <coughs> you know, the severity of the crime. And what can be like amended um, and come to an agreement and things like that or whatever. So, um... So, excuse me. I have a cold. Sorry. It says, if he refuses to hear hear them, tell it to the church. Okay, um, you're not allowed to tell the people because they will sit there. Oh, that's gossiping, and they're making up all their rules. Okay, to refuse people from hearing what is being done to them. Okay. <coughs> <coughs> But if he refuses even to hear the church, let him be to you like a, a like a heathen and, and a tax collector. <coughs> it's not condemning tax collectors, by the way. It's it's um it's basically talking about the tax collectors who were corrupt. It's not it's nowhere in the Bible whatsoever. Um, a lot of people try to sit there and use that to like get away with taxes, or uh, it's not Christian to pay taxes, and you know all these things or whatever, and they don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go on. Surely I say to you, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Oh my gosh, and I want I don't want to put that on video. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that on video or whatever, but I have a cold, so sorry. Um, it says, again, I say to you that if two or three agree on earth concerning anything that they ask, it will be done for them for, by my Father in heaven. For where two or three gather together in my name, <coughs> I, <coughs> I am there in a minute. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> I am there in the midst of them. This is... Shoot. <coughs> trying to calm my... I don't know if I'm going to calm my coughing down. <coughs> Alright, I'm done. 
But <coughs> I'm gonna try to get this in. <coughs> this is really terrible. I was hoping I can get through this. But um, the thing is, the only thing you can be done in, in in the name of God is basically if you come into righteousness. Okay, and who is ever in agreement in righteousness and comes into truth, there is Christ in the midst of them. Okay, so I have to end with that.